Stephen lies all the time. Stephen agreed to sign a no more lying contract. We wrote it together and he agreed no more lying. I was gonna charge him $100 per lie. However, if it persisted, it was going to increase to $500 per lie. It did not work. He would not pay the penalties. He even lied on the no more lying contract. I drink anywhere from four to six days per week. Typically, I like to sip on a spritzer. I will have four to six, even sometimes eight spritzers. When Jennifer drinks, she will slur her words in the evening, and she wants to argue. How much did that cost you? I don't know what you're talking about. You're dumb. It's a joke that I tell him that he keeps me medicated so that I won't leave him. When Jennifer drinks, she calls me scumbag. I'm even in her cell phone as Stephen the scumbag. Here. Scumbag from hell. Honestly, my crystal ball is broken today. However, if I had to guess, I don't think I would be with Steven if I wasn't drinking. You made a no lying contract with a liar. He's very con convincing. He's very convincing and he's very charming. Something has happened in her past regarding men and she distrusts all men and I'm fine with that. Well, are you trustworthy? I believe so. I have. I have, and there are three prior marriages in my history. He's been married four times, not three. He's lying. You've been married four times. One was annulled. The other three were divorces, correct. correct? That is correct. You wrote the lying contract in March of 2018. Was that after you found the bank statement transferred to two different women? No. I believe that was before. These are the transfers to women. Number two, testing $100. Number two, love is forever $100. Uh, number two, get here $150. Transfer to woman two, because I love you $250. Number two, love you more than you know, $60. Transfer to number two, for my very needy wife, $160. Uh, transfer to woman number one, from the man who loves you, $200. Transfer to number one, Love conquers all. What, are, what is all of this? What is this? Yeah, about uh, eight years ago, uh, I was engaged to a woman, and I would uh, respond to her when she needed money to support her son. Okay, um, so he's lying again. Why don't you just say, Jennifer caught me having an affair with a prostitute, and there's the proof. And it's actually... One woman. You have woman number two, woman one number one. Uh, the last name, it's just a maiden name. As I just said, this was a former girlfriend. So that's, that's one woman. That's two names, one woman. Correct. That's what got us into therapy the first time. Just because you have a relationship that's eight years ago and there's communication that follows that relationship doesn't mean it's an affair. He created a position for her at the firm, what he does is his, his mistresses, strippers, and, and whores, in order to pay them, he creates a position at the, at, the, at the firm. That's lunacy. And employs them so they get paid, they get benefits, they get everything. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.